Many of you have been asking us about the testing process with these drive through locations opening in our area. Keep in mind, patients must be screened by a doctor first before getting tested. Some sites are requiring appointments. This is Sky 4 video of a drive through site at St. Vincent's, which has been open since Tuesday. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning is live there tonight. And Allison, you spoke with a woman who was just tested this morning. Yeah, that's right. And someone in the building where she works tested positive, so she is self-isolating until she gets those results back. She told me she came here to Jacksonville as soon as she heard about the drive through testing site because the city where she lives doesn't have that option right now. And St. Vincent's Hospital was the first in our area to offer the drive through testing for COVID-19. And as we've already heard tonight, other sites will be opening here in Jacksonville in the next few days. Testing sites for COVID-19 are popping up all across the nation. This drive through site at St. Vincent's has been open since Tuesday. This is a look at the line first thing this morning. I FaceTimed with a woman who has been experiencing symptoms on and off. She preferred to stay anonymous. The 26-year-old shared some of her experience with News for Jax after she was tested there this morning. It was just kind of a bizarre experience, especially because we couldn't actually like interact with the people. They um, we're just, we were all kind of like yelling through the car door, the car windows. She says there are two stops to verify your documents and personal information before you can pull up to the actual testing tent where crews are dressed in protective gear from head to toe. If you don't have documentation to be tested through St. Vincent's portal, she says you will be turned away. They tape the, the test in a bag, in a biohazard bag onto the your windows. The entire process limits exposure to people who could be positive. She says testing for herself and her boyfriend took less than three minutes. It was a really like fast process like you had to just do it and then go and get out of line. Um, but there was no other communication. It was just like they said they hand you a packet and it says that you'll get your results in three to five days. And that woman that you just heard from said she originally tried getting tested on Tuesday morning first thing, but she didn't have the documentation, so she was turned away. She says she spent about six hours on the phone yesterday trying to get through to a doctor with the portal with St. Vincent's Hospital. To f and when she finally got through, she was able to share her symptoms and eventually get that documentation. So keep that in mind. The process might take some time because right now there is a lot of demand. Reporting live in Riverside, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.